Now what's the law of sines derived? Take this triangle ABC with the side lengths ABC. Now we have this height. Next, we'll take a look at this blue part, and then we have sine of A is equal to opposite H over hypotenuse C. Multiply both sides by C, you get C sine of A equal H. Now if you take a look at this red part, then sine of C is equal to opposite H, but this time its height is A. Multiply both sides by A, you get A sine of C equals H. Now take this triangle and rotate it so that we have the flat side C and angle B on the bottom left. Now we do the same thing. We have a height, we'll call it H2, so make it different from the first. Then we look at this purple part. Then sine of B is equal to H2 divided by A. Multiply by A, you get A equal A sine of B equals H2. Now, the area of a triangle is one half based on its height. So if we use the blue part, the blue height, then we have one half times the base B times the height C sine of A. At the same time, if we use the height from the red part, we have one half times base B times the height A sine of C. Now, if we look at the second triangle, since these two triangles are the same, they should have the same area. So, this triangle will have an area of one half base, this time the base is C, not B, times the height, which is A sine of B. Now, we notice all three of these have a one half in common, so let's just multiply both sides by two, just to get rid of it. So, we have B, C, sine of A, equals B, A, sine of C, equals C, A, sine of B. Now, let's divide both sides by A, B, C. So, B, C, sine of A, divided by A, B, C, gives you sine of A over A. B A sine of C divided by A B C give you sine of C over C, and C A sine of B divided by A B C give you sine of B over B. With some rearrange, we get the law of sine: sine of A over A equals sine of B over B equals sine C over C. Do you note: know, in order to use this, you need to have side side angle or angle side side, or angle angle side, which can be written as side angle angle. You could use it with angle side angle. Ideally, you can't, but if you have two angles of a triangle, you can find a third angle, which will then turn into angle angle side. As a bonus, we can find the area of a triangle. One half AB sine of C, one half AC sine of B, and one half BC sine of A. Thank you.